Hello there, and welcome to another video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today we will be discussing the iPhone touchscreen not working issue. So there could be many reasons behind your iPhone screen not responding to touch. However, what matters the most is how you can resolve this issue. So to help you out, we will discuss seven ways to fix this issue. So before we move on to how you can fix your iPhone screen not responding to touch, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Doing it will keep you informed of new similar videos. Now with that said, let's dive right in. Part 1. Three surface ways for iPhone screen not responding to touch. So sometimes the reason your iPhone screen is not working or responding at all can relate to superficial reasons like dirt or a phone protector. Nothing is more frustrating than trying to interact with your device and getting no response. But don't worry because we have three surface level solutions to get your iPhone screen back to on track. So let's go through each solution one by one. Number one, that's just going to be to clean your iPhone screen. The first solution is simple yet effective. Clean your iPhone screen. Over time, dirt, oils, and fingerprints can accumulate on the screen, which may result in the iPhone screen not responding. To clean your iPhone screen, you'll need a soft, lint-free cloth or a fiber microfiber cloth. These types of cloths are especially or specifically designed to be gentle on the screen and won't scratch or damage it. Avoid using rough or abrasive materials like paper towels or tissues as they can actually leave scratches on your device. Apple offers polishing cloth for its devices which you can use to clean your iPhone screen to help resolve the iPhone 11 screen not responding to touch issues. If you encounter stubborn smudges or fingerprints that just don't come off easily, you can just slightly dampen the cloth with water. It's important to only use water or a screen cleaning solution specifically designed for electronic devices. Avoid using harsh chemicals, alcohol, or ammonia-based cleaners as they can damage the screen's heliophobic coating. Once you've cleaned the screen, give it a moment to dry completely before testing if the iPhone 11 touchscreen not working issue has been resolved. Number two, remove the iPhone case and the screen protector. Our second tip to resolve iPhone not responding to touch is to just remove the iPhone case and the screen protector if you have one. Sometimes the case or, or screen protector can actually create a barrier between your touch inputs and the screen, so leading to unresponsive behavior. Take off the case and peel off the screen protector, if applicable. With the protective layers removed, attempt to interact with the screen again. Hopefully this will resolve the issue from there. Number three, take off lightning or USB accessories. Lastly, let's talk about your lightning or USB accessories. Believe it or not, certain faulty or incompatible accessories can actually interfere with the touch functionality of your iPhone and cause the iPhone 10 touchscreen not working issue. So disconnect any lightning or USB accessories that you have connected to your device. It could be a charging cable, headphones, or any other external devices. After removing them, check if your device screen starts responding properly. Part two is just going to be four software ways to fix iPhone touchscreen not working. If your iPhone 12 touchscreen is not working after trying the Surface solutions, it is likely that, is, that it is going to be a software glitch. This software glitch can be temporary or persistent. Given below are going to be four software ways to fix the iPhone touchscreen not working. Number one, force restart your iPhone. The first software solution is a classic troubleshooting technique, force restarting your iPhone. This method can resolve temporary software glitches that may be causing the touchscreen to become unresponsive. It also refreshes your iPhone system's processes and allows you to resolve iPhone screen unresponsive issues. To force resort your iPhone, simply follow these steps coming right up. For iPhone 6S and earlier models, you will have to press and hold a home button and the sleep wake button or the power button simultaneously until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen, then release the buttons and your iPhone will restart. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, it's going to be a little bit different. Just press and hold the volume down button and the sleep wake button or the power button together until the Apple logo appears. Let go of the buttons and your iPhone will restart. For the newer iPhone models, quickly press and release the volume up button, then quickly press and release the volume down button. Next, press and hold the side button or the power button until you see the Apple logo on the, on the screen. Release the button and your iPhone will restart from there. Number two, it's going to be to uninstall some apps with 
problem. Solution number two is just going to involve uninstalling some apps that may be problematic or just causing compatibility or performance issues with your touchscreen. Certain third-party apps can occasionally interfere with the functionality of your iPhone, resulting in iPhone touchscreen glitching. To uninstall problematic apps, just follow these steps coming right up. Navigate to the targeted app and long press its icon. Tap Remove App from the pop-up menu and then select Delete App afterward. And then you should be pretty much good to go from there. But you do have to make sure that you confirm your intent and remove the app from your iPhone. So just hit Delete. Afterward, use the same process for every other problematic app. Next is going to be to update your iPhone. Our third solution is a crucial one, updating your iPhone software. Apple regularly releases software updates that include bug fixes and performance enhancements, which can address underlying issues affecting the touchscreen. The longer your iPhone's OS remains outdated, the more problems it creates like iPhone touch not working. So to update your iPhone using iTunes or Finder, just follow these simple instructions. Start by connecting your unresponsive iPhone to your Windows, PC, or MacBook, and then launch iTunes or Finder. Afterward, follow these basic steps to put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 or later, you will have to first press and quickly release the volume up, then do the same with the volume down, and then press the power button of your iPhone and hold it until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down and power buttons of your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Now wait for the recovery mode screen to actually show up. For iPhone 6 or earlier, all you have to do is just press and hold the home and power button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. After putting the iPhone into recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will ask you to restore or update the iPhone to fix the problem that you're facing. In this case, choose the update option to upgrade your iOS firmware without losing the data. Next is going to be factory reset iPhone. Lastly, if all else fails, we have the fourth and final solution, factory resetting your iPhone. But please note that this step will erase all of your data and settings, so it should be used as the last resort. To factory reset your iPhone to resolve the iPhone screen unresponsive to touch issue using iTunes slash Finder, just follow these steps coming right up. Follow the instructions that we guided in the previous fix to connect the iPhone and enable the recovery mode on it. Afterward, iTunes and Finder will just send you a pop-up notification that there is a problem with your iPhone. You will have to choose the restore option, this time to factory reset your device. Bonus tip, efficient tool to quickly fix iPhone touchscreen not working. If both surface and software glitches have failed to resolve the iPhone touchscreen not working issue, it is likely a complex issue. So in this solution, what you need is going to be a specialized tool that is able to fix all system issues in your phone. The best software currently available is Wondershare Dr. Phone, which can solve over 150 plus iOS system issues without data loss. It provides two powerful modes for re repairing iOS system issues. One is standard mode, which is able to resolve most issues without data loss, and the second one is advanced mode, which is able to resolve even the most complex system issues. Now let's go through the steps that you need to resolve the iPhone screen stopped working issue using Wondershare Dr. Phone. So first things first, you always want to launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer. Once it's up and running, head over to the toolbox section. Look for the system repair option and give it a click. Now use a USB cable and connect your iPhone to your computer directly. It has to be a direct connection. Now in Wondershare Dr. Phone, you'll see an option called iPhone, which you can need to then click next, find and click on iOS repair. And there you'll see an option called standard repair. Go ahead and select that as your repair mode. Dr. Phone will guide you through the steps to enable recovery mode on your iPhone from there. With your iPhone in recovery mode, Dr. Phone will automatically detect your device. It will then present you with a list of firmware options to choose from. Pick the one that's suitable for your iPhone and then click download button. Wondershare Dr. Phone will take care of downloading the firmware for you. So once the download is finally complete, it will get right to work installing it on your iPhone 13. Now, now that the firmware is downloaded and installed, it's time to kickstart the repair process. So just click on repair now in Dr. Phone and it will do its thing. 
Oh, and remember, it's important not to disconnect your iPhone during this process. So with that, our video for today has come to an end. Thank you for watching the video and we hope that you were able to fix your iPhone display not working issue with these. So to show your appreciation for this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and give your feedback in the comments. Finally, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive updates for similar videos. Now, until next time, have a good one.